Hi, my name is Richard Lackey. I'm product manager here at United Broadcast and Media Solutions. This is part three of our DJI Ronin S video series. In part one, you can see the unboxing, and in part two, we look at setup and balancing. So I'm assuming you've watched part one and part two and that you've got the DJI Ronin S set up and the camera balanced properly. So let's take a look at the Ronin app and see how to actually operate the Ronin S. If you haven't activated your Ronin S yet, here's how to do it. Turn on the grip by pressing the power button once. Press and hold the power button on the gimbal to turn on the Ronin S. Make sure you've got Bluetooth enabled on your phone and launch the DJI Ronin app. Select the Ronin S and enter the default Bluetooth password once it's detected. The default password is 1 through 8. Make sure you've got Wi Fi or mobile data and follow the on screen instructions to activate the Ronin S for the first time. Once your Ronin S is activated, double tap the gimbal power button to engage the motors. Let's take a look at the most common settings in the DJI Ronin app. In the motor settings page, you'll find stiffness, strength, filter, and control. The only setting here you should adjust is the stiffness, and even this is best set using Auto-Tune. The other settings are for advanced users and can be left alone. Auto-Tune determines the correct stiffness values for the motors depending on the payload you've got on the gimbal. There are three tuning profiles, low, mid, and high. In most situations, you're going to want to leave it on mid or high. After selecting the tuning profile, tap Auto-Tune and the Ronin S will automatically work out the optimal stiffness value. You can also press and hold the M button and front trigger for 4 seconds to initiate Auto-Tune without the app. The process takes about 40 seconds and when complete you can see detailed motor diagnostics at the bottom of the page. You should see the power value at around plus minus 5 if the gimbal is balanced correctly. If the value is higher, you need to rebalance more accurately. Smooth Track allows the Ronin S to react to your movements. There are settings for pan, tilt, and roll, and these can be adjusted separately. For each axis, you'll find settings for speed, deadband, and sensitivity. These can simply be set to low, medium, high, or a custom value. Enable Push allows you to move any of the axes by hand to put them where you want while the Ronin S is turned on. If you're looking for high speed response to movement and the high setting is not fast enough, you can activate sport mode by pressing and holding the M button. There are a number of settings that control the behavior of the joystick. Each axis has settings for deadband, maximum speed, smoothing, and endpoint. Deadband sets the amount of dead movement on the joystick before the motors will actually move. The max speed value sets the maximum speed of movement when controlled by the joystick. Endpoints will set limits on the rotational movement on any axis. This can help prevent long lenses from hitting the gimbal frame. You can reassign the pan, tilt, and roll channels if needed, and reverse the direction. The built-in joystick only controls channels 1 and 3, which by default are mapped to tilt and pan. The different user profiles can be set up for quick switching between different sets of settings. Let's take a look at some of the best features of the DJI Ronin S that can help you create some really fantastic shots. The capture feature allows you to use your phone as a remote control. The control dial sets the maximum speed for each axis. The roll slider controls the roll axis movement. Pan and tilt is controlled by the virtual joystick. The shoot to record button triggers your camera to start recording or take a photo. You can switch between video and photo mode this should be kept in the same mode you've set your camera. The panorama feature allows precise control over your camera position when taking a large tiled panorama. Camera positions are calculated according to your sensor size and focal length and how much overlap you want. Once you've set up your camera parameters, you can set the panorama range in horizontal and vertical degrees. The limits are 45 degrees up and down on the vertical and a full 360 degrees on the horizontal. 
The Ronin S can be set to time-lapse mode, acting as an intervalometer, triggering your camera shutter. You can set your desired interval time and it will automatically stop when the time-lapse is finished. Push mode is automatically enabled in time-lapse mode, allowing you to reorient the camera by hand. You can also orient the camera using the virtual joystick by tapping the virtual switch. Why stick to a static time-lapse shot when your camera is already on a precision motorized gimbal? Motion lapse lets you set up to five positions that the camera will move through smoothly during your time lapse. You can change a waypoint position simply by pushing the camera by hand or use the virtual joystick to adjust the waypoint position. To preview the movement, just tap the preview button. The track feature lets you shoot video in motion with up to 10 different waypoints. The travel speed between any two waypoints can be set. This allows you to mount the Ronin S to another motion platform, such as a motorized slider, and automate camera movement. Just drag the waypoint to the desired position. The duration setting will control how long the movement takes between the waypoints. Stay time controls how long the gimbal will hold the position at the waypoint. Let's take a look at the button functions of the Ronin S. Press and hold the power button to power on the gimbal. Press the power button twice to pause the motors, press twice again to unpause. Press the M button once to switch user profile. Press and hold the M button to enter sport mode. Rapidly press the M button six times to restore the applied user profile and Bluetooth password to default settings. Press and hold the trigger to enter lock mode. Press the trigger twice to recenter the gimbal. Press the trigger three times to turn the gimbal to face you. Press the camera control button once to start and stop recording. Press and hold the camera control button to take a photo. The focus wheel currently only supports the Panasonic GH5 and GH5S. More cameras will be added and you can find a complete list on the DJI website. The most common operating mode is upright. When you need low shots, you can just drop the Ronin S into underslung mode. Flashlight mode is an easy way to get mid-level shots and to move the camera further from your body. You can also use Roll360 for full rotation of the camera. To set up Roll360, you need to remap channel 3 from the pan axis to the roll axis in the Ronin app. You should also remove the mapping for channel 1 so there's no input to the tilt axis. If you're interested in the DJI Ronin S and you don't have one yet, I'd encourage you to come down to our Garhut Dubai showroom, have a chat to us, have a look at it. We can offer you a special price. So come down and see us. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you'll get notified of new videos as they come up. And yeah, thanks for watching.